Um, medicine is about an encounter between two people. And, uh, and our, our medical teaching tends to focus on teaching it like it's a science and you just tick the boxes on all the knowledge you need. But actually, the other whole half of it is how you actually behave and interact with people. Right from early on, I realised that patients are the people who teach us so much of how to be a good doctor. Uh, doctors are often not listening to patients very well and I guess I became really passionate about this whole environment of how do we create doctors who are really patient-centred and actually listen to patients and grow and learn just as much from their patients as from each other. She's also opened my eyes that a patient is not just a diagnosis but also encompasses a, a wide variety of other aspects of their health, you know, the socio, socio-economic, cultural influences, political influences and this has really come across from me having spent time with her in her clinics in Companion House which uh, looks after a lot of the refugee population in Canberra so it's been a really eye-opening experience to see that you know the more holistic approach to patient care not just the science and the, the, the hard medicine. I spend a lot of time showing students how to behave towards patients in the way I behave towards them, in the way I listen to them, in the way I'm interested in them, in the way I'm curious about them. She's got a real absolutely genuine quality to her which, um, which comes out in her teaching. When she teaches she manages to captivate her audience without even trying and I think she's got a very spontaneous way of, of um, educating that imparts knowledge without it being overbearing. The students know that they're able to approach her about educational matters but also other matters that crop up that can affect their education as well. She taught it impartially, she taught it really well and she had examples so she was able to like captivate the crowd by actually going through the theory which is really, really dense about the, um, the drugs and whatnot and stuff like that but then related back to stories of her stuff in refugee health and, and some of her work that she's done overseas as well. I think it's the balance of those two that was really good. And as a GP uh, myself over many years, because patients come particularly out of the hospital system, come back to me and tell me their experience, I'm very aware of where the gaps are in the system and where patients often have no idea of how good the actual technical medicine was, but they really know whether somebody was listening to them was connecting with them and was helping them with what they needed at that moment in time. So I've always been really passionate about trying to really focus on developing future doctors who have those skills.